Hey all, welcome to my channel on statistical analysis and in this tutorial we are going to look at the calculation of median, the middle value of the data set. So as I told you earlier there are three types of data sets that we are having so we will try to we'll calculate the median for each and every one of them one by one. So first of all we look at the discrete data. Uh, in the discrete data set we have values less than 15 so we have an example that is number of goals scored in 11 football matches. So the first thing we have to do is we have to arrange the data in order. So the second line we have arranged all the data in order now next we are going to find something called the median element it's something like this uh, the median element is equal to n plus 1 divided by 2 if the n value is less than 50 and that is equal to n divided by 2 if the n value is less greater than or equal to 50 n is the total number of values that we are having in this example we our n value is 11 therefore the median element is 11 plus 1 divided by 2 that is 12 divided by 2 you will get 6th so we have to find the 6th element in the arranged data set and that will be the median so here we have 0 1 2 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 and the 6th element in this data set is 4 once you arrange it in order therefore the median of this data set is equal to 4 now here we have looked at a question where the number of data is even is an odd number now next we will see what will happen if the number of data is an even number so here again we have the number of goals scored in 10 football matches and as usual the first thing is we have to arrange them in order once you arrange them in order we have to find the median element so in this case the n value is 10 therefore the median element is 10 plus 1 divided by 2 that is 11 divided by 2 5.5 element so what we need to do here is we have to find the 5.5 element once you arrange the data in order but we don't have a 5.5 element we have the fifth element and we have the sixth element so the 5.5 will be in the middle of that therefore what we do is we take the fifth element and we take the sixth element and we take the average of those two numbers so here the fifth element is 3 and the sixth element is 4 and we add them that is 7 divided by 2 you'll get 3.5 so in this case the median value is 3.5 that is the 5.5 element once you arrange the data in order right so this is for a discrete data set next we will look at the discrete group data set so in this case we have uh, 50 goals uh, 50 football matches and we have the the data the goals scored in 50 football matches and we can arrange them into a discrete group data set like this now here we have the number of goals that is the x value we have the frequency that is the number of times the that a certain number of goals has been scored and we have a third column which is called the cumulative frequency cumulative frequency is the total number or the total frequency up to a, up to that level now for example if you look at the first level the frequency is 6 and the cumulative frequency is also 6 if you go to the second level the cumulative frequency is 10 that comes like this that is 6 from the previous level and 4 from this level the addition of that will be 10 and the next level you have 10 plus 11 you have 21 that is 10 from the previous two levels and in the third level you have 11 the addition of that will be 21 in the fourth level up to the up to now the cumulative frequency is 21 and from the Mm, fourth group you will get 5 so 21 plus 5 will be 26 so likewise you add the values until you come to the total that is 50 so here also we have to find the median element and we take n divided by 2 the reason is there there are 50 elements so if the total number of values are more than or equal to 50 we just take n divided by 2 so here 50 divided by 2 that is 25 so we have to take the 25th element so to find the 25th element we can use this cumulative frequency uh, column so here up to here there are six elements up to here there are 10 elements and up to here there are 21 elements and up to here there are 26 elements so you can see that the 25th element will be in this group therefore the median value is 3 that is because the 25th element is in this group okay and then we will look at the continuous grouped data set and here we are going to look at 60 employees in an organization the age of the 60 employees actually and then we have groups so you can see that again we have the group the frequency and the cumulative frequency column so here 
here it's 4 and 4 plus 6 is 10 10 plus 5 is 15 15 plus 10 is 25 25 plus 12 is 37 likewise we go on and here also we find the median element as we have 60 elements we get the n value and divided by 2 that is 60 divided by 2 you'll get 30 so we have to find the 30th element and uh, in this case we can use in the cumulative frequency column you can see that up to here 4 10 15 25 and 37 the problem here is we cannot exactly find a 30th element but we can find the group which contains the 30th element so here you can see that the group 34 to 38 will contain the 30th element by using an equation we can actually find the exact median value so to find that we have this equation median equals L. L is the lower group boundary. In the previous case, the lower group in, in this table, the lower group boundary is 34 and n divided by 2. n is the total number of values. It is 60 and sigma f is the cumulative frequency up to the median group. Now remember again, it's a cumulative frequency up to the median group. In this case, that is 25. That is, this is the median group and then up to the median group, you have 25 values accumulated and then c is the group width and you can see that is 4 38 minus 34 is 4 and then fm fm is the median group frequency in this case that is 12 so now we substitute all these values into this equation uh, and in, and we'll do that in the next slide so median is that is l is 34 here and n is 60 divided by 2 minus 25 into 4 divided by 12 that is 34 plus 5 into 4 divided by 12 so finally you will get 35.67 so this is the exact value that you can assign for that group which contains the median as the value of the median okay so in a group data set using this equation we can find the value of the median okay so in this uh, tutorial we talked how to find the median of different kind of data sets in the next tutorial we will see how to find the mode of any different kind of data set